Louisville. You're getting a phone call. Hello? Conrad, it's me. Everything all right? It's not. Banny's been shot. Oh no. I wonder if a sniper did that to him. And in case you're, by the way, for anyone unaware, uh, Banny was the name of a, um, of a, a really well-known uh, competitive, I guess, professional TF2 player back in the day. I think he mained, like, Demo Man on Sixes or something. Uh, what? How? What's his condition? He's dead. Well, that's, that suddenly took a very sharp turn, didn't it? <laughs> With a gun, Neil. <laughs> He's dead. Where are you now? He's dead? Asked you where you are, Conrad. I'm at my place. I'll have someone pick you up. You know, I don't. It's a 15 minute train ride. I'll be right there. Make it quick. Okay, so Banny is dead. Fuck, fuck, fuck. How could that happen? I didn't even dare think about the impending political aftermath. This was indeed murder. It couldn't be. I hope there was a mistake. Maybe Gary had gone crazy. Maybe I was dreaming. Foreign Minister Banny's death could be the tipping point in the conflict between Gyara and Drovia. This whole visit was meant to ease tensions between our planets. Now, now it could lead to war. The first interplanetary war. Fuck, he'll snap out of it. He'll figure this out. Focus on the task ahead. Right, let me out. I gotta go take the train. What the fuck's that? Dating elite. Okay, I assume this is about Banny. History to go. Quick feed. Article by Charles Fly. Over the past few years, more and more inhabitants of Drovia have been demanding stronger saving representation in the colonial government. But why is it that so many Savians live in Sector 1 in the first place? Find out in today's history to go. In 1798, one year after Gara had kicked off the construction of Sector 1, a group of Savians from New Joran, I, I keep on saying Jordan, but it's New Joran, or Joran, started erecting a dome of their own in a nearby valley. Sector 2 was supposed to be a new beginning and a new home for the Savians, who had experienced marginalization and oppression on New Joran. Its economy would rely on the mining and export of Tylanium. Sorry, I'm in a panic because I feel like I gotta go on the train quick. Which at, this, uh, at the time was just shaping up to become one of the most valuable resources in the solar system. In 1800, mere weeks after settlers had begun to inhabit the newly constructed colony, a series of underground explosions wrecked the tunnels, causing thousands of deaths. To this day, the Sector 2 incident is the deadliest catastrophe in the history of space colonization. An independent investigation concluded that severe construction flaws were to blame. Some critics have ascribed the ne neglectful architecture to an anti-science stance inherent in the Saviant faith. The Interplanetary Court ruled that Saviant-led colonization projects on Drovia and across the solar system were to be halted indefinitely. In a controversial move, the court went on to grant Gyara exclusive access to Drovia for 50 years. In the immediate aftermath of the incident, Gyara provided humanitarian aid to the nearby colony, evacuating the survivors and tending to the wounded. The Gyarian government uh, offered anyone who lost their home the chance to migrate to Sector 1 permanently, which many preferred to returning to New Duran. The saving population in Sector 1 has steadily grown since, becoming the majority a few years ago. Alright, well enough reading papers, let's, let's keep going to the trains. Okay, I can't interact with my daughter's door now. Just making sure I was also hitting E. Gotta go down. That's right. Ah! Train. Watch take 15 minutes IRL. Phone posting was a mistake. Dude, honestly, 
Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. It's like, we'll take 15 minutes IRL. That's kind of why I was really trying to read through that quickly. Because I feel like this game could do that. Since it was like in, in bold. Like, oh, 15 minutes. You know, it's like, oh, oh god. You know, I haven't been doing investigation mode, like, this whole time. I kind of forgot about that. I should be doing it. I guess I haven't really had much reason to. Unless I could have done that in my daughter's apartment. Okay, I'm getting to remember that. There you are, Conrad. Took you long enough. Evening, Gary. Fill me in. Seems like Banny was shot by a sniper. It was a sniper! Holy shit, yeah. Wow, man. I guess he couldn't place his sticky bombs quick enough to defeat him. And he was out on the balcony. His secretary was with him when it happened. Clean headshot. He was dead on the spot. The staff's pretty shaken up, but nobody else is hurt. Any development since he was shot? Anything suspicious? No. It seems that the sniper hit their target and ran. I also asked the staff if they noticed anything unusual prior to the attack. The secretary and the priest said no, and the bodyguards refused to talk to me altogether. How come? Bunch of radical Jovian nationalists. Conspiracy nuts. Um, yeah, they're still in shock. Give them a moment. They're all traumatized right now. They're supposed to be professionals. They've got to snap out of it. Dude, okay, look, if I saw anyone get shot in the head with a sniper rifle, I'd probably be pretty shook up. They're supposed to be professionals. Oh yeah, I read that. If they keep refusing to cooperate, I'm taking them in for obstructing our investigation. This is Gara, not some lawless rock. Hold on. Did you say priest earlier? Yeah, a guy from Banny's staff. A spiritual advisor and a somewhat prominent Saviant Front member. The guy's fucking annoying. Colorway says he can barely keep him away from Banny's butt. Excuse me. I'm sorry, from Banny's body. What's the priest trying to do? Fuck if I know. Some weird ritual. Anyway, we're trying to find out where the shot came from. It has to be one of the uh be one of the opposite high rises, but we don't know which one. I've already started looking into it, and I think we can pretty much reload the casino. They ramped up security tonight because of a big fancy event. It'd be near impossible to get a gun in there. And very stupid. We need to track down the perp as soon as possible. Get up there and give Young a hand. Copy that. You realize how big of a shit show this is, right? I can't believe he got shot. What did we miss? I mean, we checked everything. Kept tabs on everyone. Banny seemed to be in nobody's crosshairs. How in God's name could that happen? Let's find out. Seriously, Conrad. We better have quick results on our hands. If we don't, we'll be the first in line to be out of a job. Yeah. And you know there might be a war. Just get up there and find out where the shot came from. Report back to me when you're done. I have a few phone calls to make. Roger. Now right, let's go. I don't know where Young is. I presume he's probably up here, so I'm probably... I should probably go up and actually talk to him. Just seeing if there's anything on the outside. Here. Unbelievable. Just leave us alone. I did, I'm a part of the investigation. Uh, Neil, over here. It's always nice to see you. Except, you know, it's the middle of the night and there's a dead guy on the balcony. Yeah, well, I call that a Tuesday. It's Friday. For real, I'm glad you're here. Gary's been acting like, you know, himself. I'm just setting up my mobile lab and I could use your help. Our number one priority is to find out where the shot came from. The chief already prepared a case sheet. Let me send it to you right now. You want to get it submitted as soon as you think you got it. Take a look around and talk to Banny's staff. Maybe that'll get us closer to the answer. Got it. Oh, and one more thing. We're still missing an important piece of the puzzle. We didn't find the bullet yet. Let me know if you do. Alright, I'm on it. And for it's like a bullet made out of ice. The bullet. The shot was fired from... So it could be a couple different places.
So we know it's probably not the casino. Hmm. Take a look around and talk to witnesses. Press H to toggle outline mode. Objects with yellow outlines can be interacted with. People with orange outlines have something to tell you. Objects with blue outlines hold new information when examined. Gray outline means that you currently have nothing new to learn from the person or object. As you progress, people and objects you already interacted with might hold new information. Hmm, okay. Yeah, we'll turn it on just because, right? The bullet disappeared into the wall right behind this closet. It's locked. Hmm, okay. We'll go out here and investigate the body. I don't know, maybe that's kind of cheating. Eh, I don't know. I'm not really too sure. I don't I don't know if I want to have it on or off. I feel like both are kind of good. Foreign Minister Banny, as dead as it gets. Clean headshot. Yeah, okay. A Gaddle Hotel. Those are all over the city, 180 meters from here. So we're gonna need to determine the shot based on distance, I guess. A casino, pretty noisy place. Might help disguise the sound of a gunshot, about 200 meters away. Sakura Motel, hotel, excuse me. Looks like a fancy place, even at a distance, maybe 150 meters away. Bullet was made out of that one element. Hmm. Actually, many spots in the brain that you can live without. Yeah, this game seems pretty good so far. I, I do agree. Rocket Tower. It houses some multimedia conglomerate about 300 meters away. Yeah, this game seems to have a lot to it, which I really dig so far. Guess let's have a chat with some peeps. Don't let this guy sweet talk you, Conrad. Two wooden spheres dubbed Bawas, saving to use them when praying together. Excuse me, sir. Are you with the CDI? I am Neil Conrad. Pleased to meet you. I am Priest Arjan. I was Mr. Banny's spiritual advisor. I kindly ask that you let me take off Mr. Banny's jewelry. It's a very important part of the Saviant Farewell Ritual. We must free the dead from their worldly possessions so that they can safely cross over to the afterlife. It must be done before the soul has completely left the body and we're running out of time. So, it's probably not a good thing to let him do that because then he's messing with the body. And I feel like, as an officer, I couldn't do that. What was the movie between Tomorrow Never Dies and Die Another Day? Um... Uh, like, the only one that comes to mind might be... Fuck, what was it? Like, the word... The word world... Nah. Die another day... Shit, I should know that, because I've actually seen both those Bond, Bond films. Does it have the word, like, world in it? No, it couldn't. Man, I've learned. Uh, Claus, now, now I'm dying on the inside because I should know that. Because, like I said, I've seen. I'm pretty sure I've seen most of Pierce Brosnan's um, Bond movies. Okay, yeah, the world is not enough is what I'm thinking of. I think, right? Is that the name of a Bond movie? That is, right? I think it is. It must be done before the solo. I read that already. Would that be right? Looks like that's the one that comes to mind. I'll hand the jewelry over to see the eye right away. It has no value to me. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool. That is the answer? Awesome. Thank you very much. I'll hand the jewelry. Uh, do I want to trust that? I understand, but I can't have you moving the body. It's crucial evidence that can't be tampered with. Do you believe in something, Mr. Conrad? 
I'm not religious. I'm not religious, if that's what you're asking. Do you think that Gyar is a good place to live? Mostly, yes. So you believe in the capitalist ideology and in the idea of wealth and personal gain? That's not at all what I said. Listen, Mr. Ajan, I'm not here to discuss philosophical questions with you. Please, I'll be very careful when taking off the jewelry. I'll make sure to not alter any of the evidence. The Garen state like surprised itself in its tolerance and liberty. This is your chance to prove to me that those are not just empty words. Do we let him do it? It's probably gonna give me the option. I feel like I shouldn't, but something's telling me yes. Something's telling me yes. The antagonist had the whole thing where he was running around with a bullet in his head for 20 years, really? I don't remember that. Been a long ass time since I've seen any Bond films, though. I'm sorry, we can't take any chances here. If you want us to find the culprits, please stay away from the body. So they're empty words after all. I pray for the corrupted Gar Garian soul. Alright then, I'm sorry. Tolerance seems to be an empty word on Gara. I mean, you can't let people mess with evidence. You, you can't do that. Regardless of if it's a religious thing or not, unfortunately. Hello, Neil Conrad, CDI. Are you with Mr. Banny? We already talked to your colleagues. I know, but I need your help with something. Do you know where I can find the key to the cupboard upstairs? Why would you need to look in there? I think it contains an important piece of evidence. I'd prefer if you didn't mess with anything before Drovian authorities arrive. Drovian authorities? We prefer this be handled by our own people. Someone, something's wrong with her eyes, I will say that. The sniper will surely be off planet by the time that happens. We'll share our findings with him anyway, I promise. At least I think. I want to see her character model again. Oh, like you promised to protect Mr. Banny? I understand you're upset. We will take full responsibility for this when the time comes. You will, huh? What will your punishment be? A promotion? Nah, I guess she's just looking a bit pissed. It's okay, Eddie. We don't want to fight. It's only convenient convenient for Gara that one of the champions for Drovian Independence is out of the picture. I'll be... Uh, diplomatic. Please calm down, sir. Sir, please calm down. We're all on the same side here. I understand how you feel, but the perp is still out there. We need to get them quickly. If they have another, if they have another target, we need to find out now. Shouldn't be too hard. Who else is pissing off your government? Please be reasonable. I said we'll be cooperative. We'll, we'll be nice. We'll play good cop with this guy. And if he insisted, then I'd grab some evidence bags and supervise. That's fair. Uh, let's see. I mean, I would be like, is there a time limit on this ritual, or can you wait until the immediate investigation is over? That's fair. And if he insisted, then I'd grab some evidence bags and, bags and supervise. That'd be smart. Well, see, I, I was thinking if it gave me the option, I might let him do it. Because I might be able to follow him and see if he does anything, right? But I didn't get the option. So I was like, but I was considering something along those lines. Please be reasonable. I am not your enemy. Yes, you are. Listen, the assassin might be on their way to their next Drovian target right now. You can't do anything about that, but the CDI can. You decide if your personal grudges are more important to you than your people's safety. Just give him the key. It's not like there's anything in there. Yes, yeah, Smith. Fine, here's my keychain. This better lead to something. Much obliged. I guess I can just talk to her. Good evening. Ma'am, are you okay? Huh? Yes, I... We were just talking about our plans for breakfast, and then he... Do you need help? Is there anything I can do for you? No, like I said, I'm okay. Are we safe here? What if the sniper comes back? The sniper is long gone. They had a clear target. You're not in danger. For a second, I thought he just tripped, but then I saw... Do you remember the way he fell? 
I was standing to his right, and he fell away from me. So you think the shot came from one of the buildings on the right? I guess so. I just stood there and stared at him. Then Smith came and pulled me inside. Thank you. That's all, people. Oh, wait, that's all. People are on their way to keep you company. They should be here soon. Okay, so we have a bit of an idea. Anything you investigate will be cataloged here, neatly organized by location. That's real nice. As dead as it gets, clean headshot. Yeah, so this is so the bar, the bawas are what's really making me think here. That's a woman, I believe so. Yes. Let's open up this thing. Wow, this looks important. Wait, I just missed. Young, look at this. The bullet was inside the cupboard as we expected. Here it is. Good work. Hold on, let me take a look. This kind of projectile usually doesn't go very far. They probably used a comparatively smaller rifle to better disguise the gunshot. It was fired from a distance of... No more than 200 meters. I would say 250 tops. Good to know. Thank you. By the way, I forgot something earlier. Oh. There. You should now be able to submit the sheet I sent you. I don't know if you have all the evidence yet, but you're now able to send me your conclusions once you do. So standing on... So she was standing on his right. So if he's standing looking out... And she would be here, so the buildings would be on this side. Because he fell away from her, so yeah. So then, logically, the, Sakura, the Sakura Motel would probably be the one. Like, the casino's pretty noisy. And that's, like, the exact distance, but these are the buildings on the right. But was he looking out? Well, see, that's kind of what I was thinking, right? But she said he fell away from her, and he's facing down towards the left. He, he, he fell to the left. So I'm assuming they were looking out. Whoops. So we have both the clues here. Um, okay, let's not look at the clues. Let's look at the logs. I'm going to talk to Lauren again. Uh, I was standing to his right and he fell away from me. Okay, so he fell this way. And assuming... Well, okay, okay, so... Okay, my, my camera's reversed. So he fell the this way. Right? This way. I guess. I don't know. He, he fell... He fell... He fell in the direction anyway. So I, that's my... That's my guess. So if they came from the building to the right, we can make the assumption that is probably the Sakura Motel. Or hotel. I keep calling it a motel. Let's have a look at the clues one more time just to be sure. Belong to a small caliber rifle. I just want to make sure I got this all right. Of no more than 200 meters. Yeah, so this would be in front of him. So it can't be that one. This one's to the left, it can't be that one. The rocket building is too far away, so it's the Sakura Hotel. That's a guarantee. Let's make sure no one else has anything new. Nah, we seem to be all good. Alright, well, let's take a seat and complete our sheet. We can sit somewhere, right? I think we can. Yeah, right here. It is the Sakura Hotel that I, I came to the conclusion of, right? Hundred and fifty. I'm sorry, I just want to make sure. I'm I, I really want to make sure that I got this right. Yeah, Sakura Hotel. That has to be it. So 
So the bullet came from the Sakura Hotel. Submit. It was obviously the Ascension Tower of Power. You were there, Lore. We're gonna catch you, Lore. We will catch you. Neil, I saw you submitted the sheet. Report back to Gary and ask him what to do next. I think you should get to the location. Got it. See you later. Now let's go and report to Gary. Do I have any new anything? No. Pulse is at 90, though. Our pulse is getting higher. Any new findings? The bullet probably came from the Sakura Hotel. Good job, Conrad. I'm sending Saito to lock the place down. You head over there. I'll catch up as soon as I can. Listen, about those bodyguards. Cut them some slack, honestly. It took some convincing, but they helped me find the bullet that killed Banny. Let's cut them some slack and question them tomorrow when the shock is worn off. Look, they're being confrontational, but... I guess I kind of don't blame them. They, they they feel oppressed, you know? Since when did you have a soft spot for Jovian extremists? I don't, but these are special circumstances. Anyway, you should get going. I'm on my way. Right, let's go to the Sakura ho Hotel. It wasn't until I was on my way back to the train that I noticed the park's obscene size. The night was cool, and the mansion district was probably the quietest place in the whole center. It was one of the last spots in the area where buildings hadn't been stacked on top of each other like toy blocks. My head was unusually clear, and to my surprise, I noticed that I was in a good mood. In retrospect, I believe that it stemmed from a sense of purpose driving me forward that night. Get a phone call. Young, what's up? Listen, Neil. The police just got an anonymous tip from Sakura Hotel. Whoever sent it to them didn't provide a lot of details. Just that they had been in contact with a suspicious person. Why so vague? I don't know, but it looks like you definitely got the right building. Thanks, Young. Talk to you later. Alright, let's go. Wait, is that download? No. You know, I'm getting so lucky with these trains. This park size is it's obscene. Alright. Let's go and find Lore and take him down. You're going down, Lore. See, I like games that make you think like this, right? Like, they get the mind work in, and it's like, man, where do I go? What do I do? Who did what? Right? I like it. I like this kind of puzzle, clue, investigation kind of games. I don't have any new emails, right? No. I could go up. I have to go up. We're going up. Hey, you got here before me. Oh, no, you're Saito. That's right. Why not borrow him or Bato? <laughs> Good evening, Neil. Hey, Saito. Looks like you beat me here. Well, the rest of us use cars, you know. I know. Let me bring up to speed. We locked down the hotel and told the staff that nobody can go in or out. Holloway is keeping an eye on everybody in the lobby. I flew a drone up to the highest room. Long said that's where the sniper might be. It's empty. Lights out and no signs of life. Figured as much. Snipers don't usually stick around. But I did see lights in the room below. Maybe the guests in there saw or heard something? I'm gonna joke to play Blasphemous, but I don't have to joke now. Play Blasphemous. <laughs> I'll, play, I'll pay them a visit. The receptionist said that the sniper's room was rented out to a gentleman named Diaz. I got his ID chip number already. Currently running a citywide scan for it, but without success so far. Do we know what Diaz looks like? They don't have any surveillance cameras in the hotel. You know how it is. Rich people and their privacy. So no. We don't know what he looks like, but maybe you can find out. I opened a sheet. Let me send that to you. What did you tell the staff? That we have a reason to believe that a dangerous criminal escaped from the hotel. Good work. 
Let me know if you get a hit on our perp's ID. I'll be inside if you need me. Good luck. So what's the sheet then? So we need to find out exactly what our perp looks like. So we need to find out what Diaz looks like. Looks like outline mode is off by default. Receptionist, good evening. Good evening, Neil Conrad, CDI. Could you answer a few questions? Naturally. Do you have any relevant information on Mr. Diaz for me? Anything suspicious? Nothing out of the ordinary. I sent all the information we have to, our, to your colleague. Payment info, ID number, those kind of things. You can take a quick sip. I'm sorry, rich hotels always have security cameras. I mean, that is true. But, to be fair, maybe in the future they decide against that. Okay, well, I'm looking to blast from this. Not too sure if I've heard of it until now. One of my many aliases. Kevin, Lore Hunter, Diaz K. I see. I'd like to have a look around Diaz, Diaz's room. Do you have a universal key card or something? It could be an alternate history. Like, it, so it, so what I'm thinking is it could either be some kind of alternate history or what they're doing is they're doing that sci-fi thing where, um, either the dates got reset or it's, you know, because it's a new planet, they have a different, like, year, right? Well, actually, no, there, there is no Earth. So, I don't know. I'm thinking it could be, like, one of those things. So, it's, like, maybe on Giara, it's, like, the year 3,426. But here it's the year 1800, because that's when this planet got settled, right? I'm not entirely sure. Taking more of a guess than anything, right? If, if it is absolutely necessary, yes, it is. Here you go, sir. But please be careful not to disturb any of our guests at this late hour. Thanks, I will. Good evening, Agent Long, CDI. Hey Gary, I've got a key card. Let's have a look at Diaz's room. Alright, let's get up there. Let's keep down in the corridors, if possible. And mind the carpets. Also, if you hear any doggos, Megan's home. I'm watching the witnesses while you're upstairs. Alright, okay, thanks. Yeah, I may as well keep the outlines on. Just cause... It's going to give me question marks, so I'm going to look around and find everything anyway. Um, and it's more about figuring out exactly what they look like, right? Uh, so we've got a posture check. I will take care of that. All right. They seem to be seem to be pretty good. I also readjust my back pillow. Because I have a back pillow now. It's really nice, I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't have a, a proper back pillow. I'm just using a head pillow as a back pillow. But it does the job. It keeps me feeling nice and good. I got my gun out. I guess this is the possible sniper's room. An almost empty whiskey bottle and a pretty expensive one at that, judging by the receipt. So he drinks whiskey. A piece of paper. It's empty except for a strange hand-drawn symbol in the middle. It might be relevant. Fancy bathtub. Maybe the perp used it? We should have the whole bathroom checked for DNA. Looks like there's something up there, too. That whiskey shirt was nice. I bet it was. Perp. Hey, Gary. Could you come over here for a second? Did you find something? Now, I'm pretty sure a piece of the window pane was cut out and put back in. Judging from the blue residue, they used a pocket laser cutting device. You think the sniper could have fired from here? It's possible. You'd have to be a really good shot, though. I also saw a tiny blood stain on the carpet below. Maybe the perp cut himself when he handled the piece of glass. Good work. I'll go back to my post and call the DNA guys. Let me know when you're done. I do not see blood, but he did. And that's what matters. So we know he has a potential cut. You were making dinner? What dinner did you make today, my friendo? 
dinner had you prisoner. Dinner is like, no, you must finish cooking me before you can leave. Ah, it's the drone, I see. What the? Stay calm, ma'am. We're at the CDI. And I'm the CEO of Norton Robotics. I'm serious. We're Agent Conrad and Agent Long with the CDI. I'm also serious. I'm Clarissa Norton, CEO of Norton Robotics. Oh. Didn't the CDI teach you to knock first? We're in the middle of a high-profile investigation. Manners still matter. On that note, would you mind calling off your armed drone? Fine. Please, make yourselves comfortable. What kind of noob sniper does that? Very true, like he just cut himself. Wasn't even being attacked, he just like cut himself and bled. Made pizza? Dude, pizza is delicious. What kind of pizza did you make? Can't believe they still exist, their antivirus software is trash. Apparently they've gone into armed drones now. We'd rather stand. You need to answer a couple of questions. Everybody wants a piece of me these days. Make it quick, I'm a busy woman. Um... Did you hear gunfire earlier? Did you hear a gun earlier? A gun? What kind of war zone is this? Answer the question, please. No, but... Now that you mention it, I heard some noise earlier, sometime between 1 and 2. I thought someone had popped a cork. Anything else? Make it quick, I'm a busy woman. Do you know your upstairs neighbor? Here in the hotel? I never saw him. But I heard him take a phone call in the corridor earlier, around 11 o'clock. At 11 in the evening. In the corridor? I believe he was pacing up and down the hall until the person he called picked up. Then he went to his room. Was it a live conversation? Or did he get a recorded message from someone off planet? He spoke too, so it must have been a live conversation. What did he say? I don't know. I didn't pay any much attention. He might not have spoken Gyarian at all. Anything else? That's all. Thanks. So you're going to leave me alone now? Well, we might still have to bring you in for questioning. Hey cool Mario dude, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Am I leaving the evidence I want to leave? Is that even my blood? We're on to you, Lori. We're gonna catch you. Meat lovers from one of those pizza kits? Ah, oh, dude, that's so good. It feels nice making it yourself. It does. I actually have some pizza that I want to make myself, uh... Uh, somewhat soon, if I can. Right? I have pizza... Well, I have two small things of pizza dough. And I'm gonna do one with everything that I enjoy eating, right? And... I'm, and okay, so Megan's a bit of a picky eater, right? She doesn't like, um... I hope she doesn't hear me say this. She doesn't like most foods. So... She will not eat pepperoni. She will not eat mushrooms. Which are all things I like on a pizza. But she does like Hawaiian pizza, so she likes her ham and pineapple on pizza. So I'm gonna do one little pizza for her, one little pizza for me. Let's see, Kulmeyer cool dude says I'm doing much better. That's really good. I'm really glad you're doing better. 19 days ago I was sicker than I've been my entire life and back to myself though. That's good. That's really good. I'm glad to hear that, dude. Do you know what was what was wrong? Like, like I'm glad you're doing better, but I'm, I'm just kind of curious. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. Hey, Bookworm, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Hi, Fragan and Chat. I hope you're all having a good day. I am. Thank you very much. Just do half and half or that. I mean, if I didn't have two small pizzas, I would do half and half. Half and half, but each slice is alternated instead of separate halves. I like the way you think, Bass Ackworks. You basically tested positive. Ah, so you had you had the dreaded current day plague, huh? Well, I'm glad you're doing good. I'm really glad you're doing good, my friend. I wouldn't want anything bad happening to you. But for now, please stay put and wait for further instructions. Pretty good here. That's good too, Bookworm. I'm glad to hear that. Of course I'll stay. My tea isn't even cool enough to drink yet. Oh, I gotta talk to Gary. I guess that's true. We did get some good information from Gary. Cut it and put it back in. Andron symbol. 
Hmm. I think we're done up here. Let's go downstairs. A couple of potential witnesses are waiting in the lobby. We need to track the Diaz guy down. Maybe one of them has seen him leave or even spoken to him. Excuse me. Go ahead and question them. Our river has redeemed hydrate. We shall do that. Thank you very much for keeping me nice and hydrated. Always do appreciate. You know, I do need to have alert command one of these days. I'm sorry, Claus. That's one thing I'll probably add to the button next. Since I have shoutouts now. I'll input a lurk command. I should see what other command streamers use. Cause I know I know I have been lacking a lot with my bots. So yeah, maybe I'll look around and see what other command streamers use, maybe throw them in. Can always have some dumb commands, you love your dumb commands. You know, Rano, maybe you can give me maybe you can give me some ideas. Cause I don't know, I'm like dumb commands are fun. You know what? You know what? I'll look into some, for sure. See what we can do. Play around with the bot a little bit more, right? You should also have a look around. It's no crime scene, but you never know where you'll find a clue. I'll be waiting at the reception. Come talk to me once you think we're done with this place. Have one where you roll a d20. That's always, that's always fun. Oh, saving. Saito. Anything new? Well, I tried to find out how Diaz escaped from the hotel. Banner shot at 139. I suppose that Diaz left shortly after that. Probably between 145 and 215. So we have an idea when he left. The big question right now is how. There's a functioning ID scanner at the door that only picked him up once when he arrived. That means that he can't have left through the front door. Could he still be here? No, I've had my drone scan the whole building for his ID twice already. He must have gone out through the back door, but you don't get that far that way by foot. My theory is that he was picked up by a getaway driver in the backyard. There is a vehicle tracker on the launch pad that scans each car at the exact time it lands there. Cars aren't allowed to stick around for long on the launch pad. It's just meant for quick deliveries and pickups. Here's the thing. I went to ask the guard to pull the data for me a couple minutes ago. He said someone had turned it off earlier tonight, swore it wasn't him and that he hadn't noticed. We have to find out who it was. When I became an inside joke because I said I was going to ban people for saying ooh ooh, oh boy. If we can confront whoever helped Diaz get away, we might find out where he went. I'm sending a sheet to your, uh, to your cell. Submit it as soon as you think you know who disabled the tracker. Maybe the traffic data will still help, even though parts are missing. The guard said your AR module can read it directly from the scanner on the launch pad. Roger that. Okay, so we need to figure out how or who did that as well. So we need to figure out, uh, I guess, both people in this. No more blueberry. Excuse me, sir. Can I ask you a question? Happy to help. Uh, what does Diaz look like? He should know, right? Do you know what Mr. Diaz looks like? Unfortunately, I've never met him. The reception wasn't occupied when he checked in last night. He used our electronic check-in service. Thank you. Uh, about the vehicle tracker. My colleague said that the guard is in charge of the vehicle tracker in the backyard. Is that correct? Yes, Mr. Smith. Is the tracker ever turned off? Turned off? No, it operates around the clock. And it doesn't usually break or have hiccups of any sort? I don't think so. It was installed the day before yesterday. I can't imagine that it's already acting up. So that's a good piece of information. That's a really good piece of information. So it was installed the day before yesterday. But Mr. Smith can certainly answer your questions about the tracker in more detail. He's usually not in contact with our clients. And I apologize if he appears untrained. Thank you. Happy to help. Now we'll ask this even though we know he probably doesn't know. But did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? No, I was fast asleep until I got called down to the lobby. I have my own room upstairs. Your own room? Do you live here? Mostly, yes. 
Thank you. That's all for now. Alright. See if we can find out how Diaz got away. Go ahead and talk to the staff. Right, the pianist. Excuse me, sir. How can I help you? Have you met Mr. Diaz? Have you ever met Mr. Diaz? Diaz. The guest from the 8th floor? I think I talked to him yesterday. He was having a late night drink at the bar after he arrived. That's probably him then. Or was he? Because he had it in his room. I was packing up my things when he went to his room. Asking about the viola he was carrying. Quite an expensive model, I have to say. Did he show it to you? A viola, huh? Did he show it to you? No, he kept it in his case. He generally wasn't the talkative type. What does he look like? What does Diaz look like? He's a redhead with a beard. Thank you. So this is good to know. We'll still ask this, just because why not. Did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? I was right here all night, but I really didn't pay attention to that. Sorry. You gave a concert earlier, and I kept playing for the people that stuck around. Thank you. That's all for now. So he was a redhead with a beard. So we can- we'll make an assumption... That he is red... I mean, he'd probably... Well, he wouldn't have the whiskey bottle. He'd probably have the cut arm. Unless he got it fixed. I assume the cut arm would make the most sense, right? I guess we don't know what color his beard is. But, I mean, we can assume it's red. We can assume it's red. Let's also have a look at clues here. That's the wrong one. Hmm. Uh, hole in the window. Maybe the perp cut himself when he handled the piece of glass. So we can we can take a guess with that one, but we're not entirely sure. But he also might have the case. A redhead with a beard. So once again, we don't know what color the beard is, but we can take a guess and say it's, it's the same as his head, right? So, well, it's the same as his, like, hair, hair. We'll continue investigating around, but we can assume this is probably correct. Uh, the whiskey that was in my hotel room, of course. Says Lore. Let's have a talk with this person. Excuse me, madam. Uh, can I ask you a few questions? Okay. Have you ever met Mr. Diaz? Have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz? Doesn't ring a bell. Don't think he ever came to my bar. Thank you. I have another question. Did you see anybody leave between 1.30 and 2.15? So she never saw Diaz. No, I was back in the kitchen cleaning some glasses. Had a lot of dishes to do after the concert tonight. Can I go now? I have a young boy at home, and the sitter can't stay much longer. I'm sorry, but the hotel is on lockdown until further notice. You might want to give them a call. It could be a while until you can leave. Thank you. That's all for now. Hmm. Okay, and this must be the car, man. Evening. Could you answer a few questions? Uh, about the vehicle tracker. I heard that the vehicle tracker was turned off tonight. Do you happen to know why that is? No idea, really. It's supposed to be running around the clock. Are you sure it was turned off and didn't just malfunction? I'm pretty sure. It said it was offline. I just turned it back on and it seems to be running fine now. Plus, it's only been there for two days. It's a good brand, too. Can it be turned on or off from anywhere other than this booth right here? No. And it's just been you here all night, nobody else. Well, sometimes I take a break. I usually ask uh, Felicia or... Burned? That's not Bernard, that's that's Burned? I get, that's a weird name. Or Burned to take over and keep an eye on everything. Felicia or... Maybe it's Burned. It's probably Burned. Felicia's the bartender. 
The one who won't shut up about her stupid kid. Burns the pianist. Ah, so... Ah. Okay, so maybe the pianist is lying. Or maybe she's lying. She might be the one lying. But she, but if she never actually taught... See, so I'm, I was thinking, right? Maybe the kid is a cover. But apparently she does talk about the kid to the guard. So we can assume... That that is incorrect. And that she actually does have a kid. Do they take over for you tonight? Yeah, let me think. Felicia at 22,000. Baron at 0.45. Both for about 15 minutes. Thanks. Have you met Mr. Diaz? Diaz? Who's that? I guess from the 8th floor. He arrived last night. No, haven't talked to any guests in a while. Thanks. Saw anybody leave? Or a car picking someone up? Could be. A bunch of people got picked up after the concert. But I'm more interested in people going in than out. I see. When was the concert over? It started at 2.30. Took about three hours. But some people stuck around at the bar a little longer. Thanks. That's all for now. So did we get more information? We did not. Okay, so we're going to need to try to keep this all in, all in mind. Was it a gun case, Mr. Detective? The viola case wasn't left in the room, so you might still have that. Well, I'd expect him to ditch the weapon ASAP. See, that's kind of my thinking, right? It's like... He could get rid of the case, and he could get rid of the gun in theory. But, I mean, that is an expensive-sounding sniper rifle. Right? Well, small caliber. Hmm. I mean, it, it's true. It could be anyone. Anyone could have been cut. Hmm. Okay, let's get all the information we can, and then we'll we'll go from there. Cause right now the pianist is sounding pretty suspicious. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No. Going for a smoke? Yep. Might as well. Sounds like you're going to keep us here for a while. Probably. Hey, I have a question. Do you always store your whiskey in the backyard? That's an expensive brand to just leave out here. Oh, looks like they forgot to bring in part of tonight's shipment. I'll let the bartender know. Was the whiskey dropped off here by car? Mm. Yeah, the alcohol often comes in pretty late. Do you remember when they landed tonight? No. Wait, I do actually. I saw them arrive when I went back in after a break. It was precisely 22 at uh, 2210. Are you sure about the time? Yeah, I was looking at my cell right at that moment because I got a message. Thank you. Mmm. Crate full of expensive looking whiskey. Mmm. So I can't like look at the car stuff, I guess. Unless there's like a keypad thing I can mess with. Seems not. I can go down here. No, I can't. Okay. Hmm. Did we get a new clue from that? Crate full of expensive looking whiskey. Hmm. Maybe both will tell workers are truthful. I mean, it's possible. It's certainly possible. Excuse me, madam. Could I ask you a few questions? About the vehicle tracker. The vehicle tracker was turned off earlier, and I'm trying to find out why. Do you know anything about it? I heard that you briefly took over for the guard a while ago. I... Did? But why would I turn off the tracker? I wouldn't even know how. Thank you. That's all for now. Okay, I want to look at my logs. I wanna, I wanna see uh, how. 
I can mess with the tracker. Because I, I know what they said was turned off. Hmm. Quick deliveries and pickups. Can read it directly from the scanner on the launch pad. So, directly from the scanner on the launch pad. So that's the whiskey. Where's the scanner? Oh, right there. Okay. All right. So. Can I look at files? Can I click on any of these? No. Okay, when did he say it came? Because that's probably going to be crucial. Um, wrong, wrong one. So, at precisely at 2210. Precisely at 2210. And it's possible that he would have left between 145 and 215. So 2210, if that's correct, would be on the scanner more than likely. So 2210. I don't see... Oh man, maybe the scanner... Maybe it was turned off at that point, because yeah, it's, I don't see anything for 2210. Hmm. This could take a little bit of thinking. What if they're all lying? See, they both might be. Do they say when it was shut off? Just turned off earlier tonight so it would be kind of a coincidence if the last time it was turned off was when the whiskey was dropped off Twenty two ten. did the guard say when he normally takes his breaks So Felicia would have had it at the time. Who was covering for him in 22, 22, 15? It looks like it would have been Felicia. So it is very suspicious that the last thing that we saw would have been just before 2210. So Felicia is for sure prime suspect, I think. So, Baron is probably correct. Because, yeah, both for about 15 minutes. Maybe. Wait. No. That doesn't. That doesn't really add up, actually. Because Felicia had it. Okay, so this is me trying to like work work through it, right? So Felicia had it at 22. Now it's possible she could have turned it off, but then Baron would have noticed it when he went at 045. Right? But then the guard would have also known it was shut off if he came back. Right? Like, I think my logic makes sense here. Because, like, I'm pretty sure they would have noticed it was turned off. 
We might need a few more clues, but so far, so far it's starting to kind of make a little bit of sense. I think maybe they're both correct. What do you, what do you have? Why would he think to check it? That is a fair point. Did he, is there anything in that log that makes it seem like he might? Let's see. He just turned it back on. I guess it's a good point. He is just the guard. But he's not necessarily watching the tracker all the time. So a bunch of people got picked up at 2.30, took about three hours, but some people stuck around the bar a little longer. When was the time again? So the time that they would have, so he would have been picked up between 1.30 and 